Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. We're in the parable of the talents, and we talked about it a little bit yesterday, and we pick up Matthew chapter 25, verses 14, and especially I'm going to focus on verse 15 today. For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one. To each according to his ability, then he went away. What's this talking about? Obviously, Jesus is the man, right? He's ascended up into heaven. And until then, he's entrusted to us his property, if you will. And yesterday we talked about what that meant to be a good steward of what God has given. But then today he talks about giving talents. And of course, back then when the man went away, when the master went away, he gave talents five, two and one, uh, possibly to the people that were the servants in his household. Right. And so these talents were a monetary gift that he gave. Now, traditionally, as we interpret this passage, we say it's not just the monetary gifts um, as an interpretation of what the master gives, but it's all gifts that God, the master, that Jesus, the master gives to us, right? And so everything, I'm going to share with you four points today based on this text. Number one, everything we have is a gift of God. Everything, the clothes on our back the food on our table, the jobs that we have, the family members that we have, the church that we have, the home that we live in, everything comes from God. James tells us that every good gift that we have in life comes from the father of lights who does not change and shift like shifting shadows. So what's that saying to us? Everything, everything you have is God's and we're just the stewards and managers of it. Boy, I tell you what, that is so contrary to what most people think on planet Earth. It's they who did it. It's they who gets the credit. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. So everything we have comes from God. In this text, remember the man gave those talents to his servants, right? So we're the servants of the Lord, and he gives those talents to us. So everything we have is a gift of God. Secondly, he varies the amount of gifts that he gives to people. We know that. I mean, there are people in my life who are so incredibly gifted by God, and they recognize it. Let me share a couple of them with you. Uh, One is my son, Tim Allman, who is incredibly gifted. He can sing. He can lead. He can preach. He can teach. He's got great people skills. It's like God and and another guy is David Languish, the senior pastor at Bethlehem Lutheran Church. It's like God just went, oh, (laughs) On those two guys. So in this text, God gave five talents or the man gave five talents to one of the servants, two to another and one to another. So he varies the amount of gifts and talents he gives people. That leads us to the third point. Be content with the gifts that God has given you. Don't look at other people and say, boy, I wish I had what they have. I wish I could trade gifts. I mean, there's been times in my life when I wish I could manage better. I wish I was a better leader. But you know what? God has made me who I am. So be content with the gifts that God has given you. And don't want to trade with somebody else. Be satisfied with the gifts God has given you and be content with the amount of gifts that he's given you. Don't look at somebody else and say, wow, I wish I had more gifts like like he does or she does. Be satisfied. Be content. And finally, fourthly, give all glory to God for what he has given. Right. Give all glory to God. Give him the credit. Um, So the world will say when great things happen in one's life, I did it. Christians say he did it. The world will say I earned it. Christians will say he earned it. The world will say, I get the credit. Christians say, he gets the credit. So anything good that happens in your life, give all glory, honor, and praise to our Lord God, and especially his son, Jesus Christ. This is another thing um, that we need to understand regarding the distinguishing um, characteristics between the world and Christians. The world will say, me, 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 me. Christians will say, him, 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 right? It's all because of him. 
So give him all the glory, uh, deflect credit and praise to him. When people say, wow, that was awesome what you did. Just say, I give him all the glory or simply say thank you, right? Um, a lot of times you guys make comments to me uh, on Daily Truths and you'll say, uh, you know, that was really good or thanks for sharing or whatever. And I try to give as much as possible all glory to God uh, and or I simply say thank you for your encouragement because it's not me. Anything good I do, anything good you do is because of God. So we keep all of that in mind, and I hope these principles have been helpful for you today to help you understand who God is, what he gives, and why he gives it. All right? And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.